What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in to the Rock the Watch channel. Guys, today we are going to do the full review of the Marshan Drivers Chronograph Mark II. But before we do that, quick wrist watch check. What am I rocking today? Today I am rocking my Rolex Milgauss. Man, these things, look guys, I'm gonna take a second here to say, if you got the money to get into Rolex, get into Rolex now, get you a Rolex. It's insane. Since I bought this sucker, I think it's gone up in value two and a half, three thousand dollars $3,000. It's out of control. I, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's, it's out of control and get you one now. So let's get this bad boy over to the table and take a look at the Marshan Drivers Chronograph Mark II. And let's rock this watch. All right, guys, so here it is. The Marshan Drivers Chronograph Mark II. So let's just uh, take a look at the dial here for a second. It's very cool. So let's get into some of the specs and features on this watch. This watch is a 42.6 millimeter case diameter. And as you can see, it's not round. It's I don't know what kind of shape to go. This is kind of square, a little fat, tubby square kind of guy. Its thickness is 12.36 millimeters. It has a 49 millimeter lug to lug, and it has a 22 millimeter lug width. It is powered by a Mecha Quartz. So as you can see, it is a quartz. There is a uh, no running seconds on this. Okay. It has 50 meters of water resistance. It is made from 316L stainless steel. It has a three o'clock signed with the Marshan M there. Non screw down crown. Doesn't really need that with 50 meter, uh, meters of water resistance. You should not be swimming across the English Channel with this watch, okay? It has a date at the six o'clock. Let's just uh, zoom in here because we can get a little bit better look at this. Date window at the six o'clock, okay? And let's see here, three o'clock subdial. That's a 24 hour subdial. 60 minute subdial at the nine o'clock position, okay? It is, this particular colorway is cool. Shout out to David Schwartz. Go check out his channel if you're not familiar with him. I'm sure you probably already are. Go over there, join the Schwartz Force. Shout out to him. He had these and a couple other colorways available for review from the manufacturer. So also thank you for Marshan for letting us take a look at this watch and ask me which one I would like to check out. I said, let me check out the blue. I kind of dig blue. I'm digging the blue. Uh, the blue dial there, which is kind of coming off as black the way I'm seeing it, but but you can see it. the blue dial, all the 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 tachometer meter tachometer chapter ring in there, okay or rehot is I'm digging the cream color that they got going on here. It's kind of a blue and a vintage cream color. You see the same thing in the sub dials there, the orange hands. It's it's really cool and now matching with the blue rally strap with the orange stitching it comes off it's it's a nice colorway i'm i'm digging it okay the this is actually a really nice leather strap as you can see it's a rally style strap orange stitching like i said genuine leather come over to this side and it's got a signed stainless steel buckle that is got their logo on there it's very cool so Again, if you guys don't know how to chronograph works, I'm sure you do. Top button starts to chronograph. Chronographs are used for timing things. Obviously, there's 60 seconds around here and 60 minutes right there. Top button also stops it. Bottom button will snap it right back and instantly reset it, which I dig that. Let's look at the 
very nice case back and it says it is as you can see screw down stainless steel it says martian drivers chrono mark two five atmospheres what does this say right here cambridge england very nice uh make a quartz yep the five atmosphere there oh it does have quick release spring bars in case i did not mention that before now one thing this does have which i got to talk about is a mineral crystal guys this is just a prototype this is out there on kickstarter the the production will have sapphire uh me and a couple of guys that spoke to the owners of this the production will have sapphire now i know some of you asking because i get comments why you guys review prototypes because this is a chance for these brands to get the watch out there the concept and make rolling changes and ask for input from the watch community what would you rather have would you like this would you like that get get a little bit of input sometimes they'll take it the input make the changes sometimes they won't but this is a good reason to have quote unquote prototypes now i know sometimes there are certain changes done that don't get rolled into the watch and there could be certain you know mix-ups and certain things but just to let you know this is a prototype and the only thing to my knowledge right now that's going to be changed is the mineral crystal to sapphire which is cool everybody digs sapphire so let's see what this looks like on the wrist let's get this rolex off and i'll put this on normally i put them on on camera but i'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit because the strap ones are a little bit uh wonky there All right, and there we are. Very nice. Very nice. I could see you at like an, an old retro race where they're racing like 1960s cars and you can just rock this bad boy. It's kind of got that tag Hoyer Monaco feel. No, it doesn't look like it, but get a feel of the old vintage racing. I think they captured that perfectly. So let's get a loom shot and then we'll go back and get some final thoughts here. Let me hit this bad boy up turn out some of these lights see what kind of loom we got going on here all right there it is very nice it's a pretty cool loom man can't argue with that all right so let's uh flip this camera around and get the final thoughts all right, guys, so there it is, the Marshan Drivers Chronograph Mark II. Guys, what do you think about these vintage-style chronographs? Are you into these? Is this your thing? I think they're pretty cool, man. They, they fill that little niche that some people, you know, who dig these kind of things, man. This is a cool little, little watch. So go check them out uh, at their website. They got the, uh, the whole dealio going right now. And... Uh, let me know what you think about these. I think they're kind of retro, not necessarily my thing, but the build quality and the look, I get what they're going for. I really do, I dig it. So guys, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And as always, rock that watch.